Hey everybody, happy Friday! Woo -woo. I just got finished filming my trash video, my empties, and it's only 12.34. Holy crap. It feels good to be up and at them early. You know what I mean? Um, so, now, today I need to get prescriptions. And, because I used to have them synced up so I could get them all on the same day. And then when I went to my last doctor appointment, it took him days to refill my prescription, like almost a week. There's like some mix up. And so now I can get half of my prescriptions this week and then the other half I have to get them like a different week, like 12 days later. It's weird. So anyway, I um, have to do that. I want to go to Walmart only because I want to see if they have any more of those black leggings that I had on yesterday. They're just so great that I want more. And because I would like wear them every day. Today I'm wearing just regular leggings, but the other ones are kind of thicker and they're like sweats, but like a sweat legging at the same time, like a swagging. They're just great. and. But the black ones are so hard to come by, you're lucky to find them. So if you do find them, you got to get them right then. So anyway, I want to go there. But it's not necessary. But I'm also going to put together my mailman Christmas gift. And I'm going to put together my neighbor Christmas gifts. I broke into the cookies. I didn't break into the citrus snowball ones that you all wanted me to break into. <laughs> I contained myself, but I did break into one that it's just the mint chocolate one. It was the only bag that didn't have the Christmas packaging, so I went ahead and had a couple of those because I just needed a cookie. Okay, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna make some cookies, <laughs> but I'm gonna use the frozen ones that I love, the Ruby Snaps. And they're already frozen into little balls. You just pop them in the oven. And then when they're out, you frost them with the frosting that it comes in. The frosting that they make for the cookies is so good. You could just squeeze it out of the tube and eat it. Okay. It's like a, it's like a buttercream frosting with lemon extract in it. It's amazing. Okay, stop. Okay. So I want to do that. So hopefully it'll be kind of a fun day for you today. <laughs> I always think about like, what can I do for my customers today? So first things first, let's get them cookies. I think I have two packs and I want to use the one that's the oldest. Oh, wieners. Okay, so I think this one is the oldest one. So I have this one, and it this one makes 12. Yeah, one dozen. And then there's another one down there. Pretty sure this one is the older one. So, Yep, and all you do is you preheat your oven, put them on the rack, and bake them. That's it. And you get to look at a sexy lady at the same time. Her name's Mia. Okay, they're ready to go in. These expired in June. <laughs> so I hope they're still good. They will be. And then here's what the frosting looks like. They give you a pouch of their homemade frosting and it is to die for. Like literally lay down and die for. <sighs> These are expensive cookies. They're seven, eight dollars a bag, but they're amazing. They're worth every penny for truesy realsy. This is my stash for the mailman. <laughs> I stuck it all in here so that Daryl wouldn't eat them. Cause I don't know. So he gets a little sampler. He gets some popcorn and a Kit Kat a rice crispy tree and I'll put like thanks for all you do right there and then um, a little pack of Cheez-Its and 
this is where I keep all my treat sacks. So here's a clear one, but I want to get a Christmas one. Um, cute Halloween. Some of these are so old I forgot what they, what I have. I think I gave him the snowman last year. I think I'll do a holly this year. And then in this drawer, this is where I keep miscellaneous items. <laughs> Straws, plastic silverware, or plastic utensils, ribbon, spare ribbon. Look at this gorgeous ribbon. I love this. Um, my BFF across the pond, Nikki, gave this to me one year for Christmas. I love it. It was either Christmas or my birthday. I'm not quite sure. Um, here's an extra bow that I made last year for the family presents. I wonder if I put one of these on his. I don't remember. But anyway, um, I'm going to use... I don't know if I should use white, green, red, or all three, or two. This stuff is the best, this tool. It's the best ribbon ever. So give me a minute. All right, so I just put, for all you do, this gift, no, this treat's for you. So I did that. Now we'll just put it together. I gave him a popcorn last year with a bunch of candy bars and licorice, but we don't have a whole bunch of candy bars and licorice this year, but we have all this other crap. Let's see, maybe I should put this. there. That's precious. And here's a twisty tie. Give it a twist and a shout. That's what it's all about. And I'm going to get his little name tag ready, his gift tag, and then we'll finish up. I totally forgot to set the timer on the stove for my cookies. So I just checked them, and it looks like. 10 more minutes. I'm out of it. I'm out of it. So anyway, I'm going to use just one of these pieces of paper. It's a little notepad that I got from current catalog years ago. They, they don't make them anymore, but check it out. Oh, one of you made this for me last year and I'm so sorry. I can't remember who it was, but I love it. So I'm wearing that today. And then I'm wearing Debbie's little bracelet she made me. So anyway, yeah, here we go. I'll just put this on last. It's got my name on it, our last name, so. Probably doesn't really matter about my last name if you guys see it, but I'd rather not. So I'm just gonna tie this. I need to tie this under. Under the twist tie so it'll stay on better. I have you on a really dinky little teeny tiny tripod, so. 
not the best angle. There we go. There we go. Now it will be. My mom taught me how to do perfect bows because she was left-handed. And so I tie my bows left-handedly and they come out much better. Okay. There it is, everybody. And then I'll put my little name tag on it. Hopefully he likes it. Cookies are done and they are perfect. I did the timing just right. I thought like right here and right here were doughy, but it's just part of the freezer burn. <laughs> I don't care, I'm eating it anyway. It'll be just fine. So once they cool down, I'll go ahead and frost them, but we'll do that later. Okay, so for my neighbor gifts, I've got these from Dollar Tree. I have six of them, but since I ate a bag of cookies, <laughs> we're only doing five. So they're really cute, super duper cute. I did the same exact Christmas gift for these guys several years ago, but this was smaller, but I don't care. I did it again because it's cute. So I've got these and I have these super cute doilies. They come in small or large. I'm gonna be using the small ones, but don't they look so retro? They look so cute. So I have them already separated and I'm just gonna put one in each tree like that and then I'll put in a cookie like that and I am gonna use a white bow I think white will look cute So I'm just going to take it, let's see, you can get this at Walmart, grocery stores, craft stores, it's the best. And it's kind of stretchy and it's just so adorable. So I'm gonna just put it under. There. I don't know, a red bow would look cute, but I kind of like the white. Anyway, that is it. That's the neighbor gift, everybody. All right, I decided to use red bow. It's super cute. I'll still use this white one on one, but yeah, I'll use red on all the rest. Isn't that so cute? And then I'll put our little name tag on it. So yeah, here we go.
and voila, I'm all done, except for the one that needs another pack of cookies. Aren't those so cute? Definitely glad I went with the red bow, but the other one gets a white bow, so I don't waste it, but uh, I just think those are so cute. Alrighty then, done with that. Hey everybody, I have been to Dollar Tree just because I was stupid and went to Dollar Tree. But I did get a calendar and some little gift bags and some little soda crackers. They're like this big, they come in a box. So I'll show you those. And then I went to the Walmart close to there to look for those black sweat legging things. And they didn't have any, they just had holiday print, but no plain black but I found the cutest pajamas and they were only flipping $10. I bought them. I bought them. 10 bucks. I'm a pajama fiend. I love pajamas. Um, so I bought them. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go to the other Walmart that I always go to and see if they have any there. It's 3.30. And then after that, I will go back down to the store and pick up prescriptions. Oh, and I bought at Walmart, I also bought some Pepperidge Farm cookies to replace the ones that I ate. But I also bought a different kind to replace in my friend's gift bowl. So I'm gonna open the citrus snowballs and replace them with an apricot raspberry thumbprint cookie. It's a Pepperidge Farm and it's a Christmas edition. It, it kind of sounds good. I kind of want to keep those. I don't know. But she would like those too, I'm sure. So I'm trying to decide. I'll probably open the, the citrus and then give her those. So yeah, that's what we're doing now. I just went into Harmon's, got my prescriptions and left. And Walmart did not have the leggings either. So they're done for, but I'm just grateful that I have the ones that I have. So at Dollar Tree, I picked up, this is a set of six. These are just little plastic bags. Um, I'm gonna put the, the scarves that I crocheted for my family in these, cause these expand kind of nicely. And, They'll be perfect for my scarves. The wrinkly, these bags are always wrinkled and hammered, but when my scarves are in them, they'll fill out. So there's that. And then here are the saltines. Look. I bet these are good. We'll have to give them a try. I hope they're good. And then I just got myself a calendar because, heck, January will be here before you know it. So I just went ahead and got, oh, it's Bible verses. I didn't even know that. I just was looking at the pretty pictures. But that's cool, that's cool. So I got a calendar. And so that's all I got at Dollar Tree. And then at the first Walmart, I'm gonna try these because I know I have planter fascia fascia, plantar fascia, or whatever it's called. I know I have it. Because my heel hurts so bad all the time. So I'm going to try these in my shoes, like the ones I've got on now. They really need cushioning. They have no cushion at all. So I'll try them in here, see if I like them. And then these were $10. I can always switch them out from, my, from shoe to shoe, so... Hopefully these will feel good on my heels. And then here's this to replace the ones that I opened for the neighbors. And then here are the ones, these look good. I'm gonna replace these. I'm gonna swap them out with my friend's cookies in here. She has the snowball ones. I'm gonna swap them out. Look how, how easy was that? <laughs> oh, I didn't realize.
realized they weren't Christmassy though. Oh, I kind of like the Christmas decoration. It looks cuter. But these, I bet it would just be too sweet for me. But they do look good. So do those. Sweet and simple. I don't know what to do. And then I've got these to frost. But anyway, back to the story at hand. And then here are my pajamas. 10 bucks. Not even on sale, they're just $10. <laughs> it says meow. And there's a little cat face on them and they're long sleeved and they're kind of fleece. Yeah, they've got fleece lined. And here's the bottoms. They're kind of boingy. These are mediums, but $10 I had to. So I'm saving these for Christmas. The ones that I just bought um, a week or so ago, I already wore. So these I'll, I'll save for Christmas. And that's my shopping spree for the day. Look at this glorious pile of cookies. Oh, sometimes I put little sprinkles on them, but not today. I'm just gonna eat it as is. This frosting is delectable. It's like lemon flavor. Mm. It's like a cream cheese, buttercream lemon flavor. So I keep this packet and I squeeze all of the frosting out and I just eat it. So good. Let's have a bite of this cookie. I put you in my cupboard. Which one do I want? I'll just take this one. Mmm. Mmm! These are made in Utah and I think you can only get them in Utah. So good. They taste exactly like a homemade sugar cookie. Like for reals, like legit, because they are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. But they're really rich and heavy in a good way. And so this is what I do. I'll just sit and I'll squish it out the corner. Oh, let's go like this. Because mm. you don't want to waste any of this frosting. Ever. Ever. Mm. 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 I'd rather just eat the frosting and skip the cookie. Because I'm having this cookie, I'm not gonna be doing the cookie taste test with the Pepperidge Farm right now. Maybe next week. Cause I don't wanna deal with too many cookies. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel like I ought to open these up, even though just the thought of eating a soda cracker right now is grossing me out. I'm gonna do it anyway. Like I'm not even hungry.
they're really good. They're salty. And they're not like light and airy and crispy like a soda cracker, but they have the flavor of one. They have the consistency of like a a cheddar cracker, like a a cheese it or something. These are good. They are on the salty side, but they're really good. They'll be really good in tomato soup. Um yeah, I like them. They're really good. I had a feeling I'd like these. It seems like these little off-brand crackers are always good. All right, I'm parched. I need something to drink. In a bad way. Christmas cat. So furry and fat. I like you like that. Hey everybody, welcome to the closet. I have my special lamp on to add extra lighting to this mug of mine. So it's 10:15, so it's gonna be a quickie in the closet tonight because this video is long and I've got some mail to share with you. I have a card here from Jeannie Carter. I opened it, but I haven't looked at it. And it's a happy holidays card. That's cute. It totally matches my pajamas. I love it. Now the inside says, Happy New Year. Love and blessings to one of my fave YouTubers. And we'd probably be best, or we'd probably be great BFFs. Love, Jeannie. Oh, thanks, Jeannie. We probably would be great BFFs because who wouldn't want to be my BFF? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, thank you for taking time to send this to me. That was really sweet of you. You're the best. And now this one is from my friend Jan Creason. Creason. I always called her Jan Cresson, but I believe it's Creason. She um, has been with me forever, and I watch her channel too. She has a channel. She does a lot of cooking, and her food looks amazing, and I don't know how she comes up with recipe after recipe after recipe after recipe after recipe. But she's amazing, and she's sweet as pie, and she told me that... A little package was on its way and we were on the same brainwave because I told her I had a package on the way to her. Duh, who knew? Go figure. So I got it and let me open it. So I slid it open but I haven't looked inside or anything. So I feel a card in here. 
said Merry Christmas to all. Let me see. Oh, cute. Merry Christmas to all. Look at that cute gnome. Super cute. Oh, she wrote me a big long one. Dear Tracy, I want to thank you for so many years of fun. See? Laughter and friendship. You are just precious. I do a lot of your DIYs and recipes and really love the mask chain. I decided I want I wanted to make you one. Let me explain about let me explain about it. Um Monk Monco is, of course, the kitty, and the color of the black beads represents sweet Lola's. Okay, so I think she said Momo. I can't tell. I'm sorry, Jen. It looks like M-O-N-C-O, -O, but anyway, we'll just say Momo. Momo is, of course, the kitty, and the color of the black beads represents sweet Lola's memory. And then the beads each represent a customer that you so dearly, that love you so dearly. I hope you like it. Love and blessings to you, sweet Tracy and Daryl, too. Cute. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Jan, Randy, Kaylin, and Cre Jan, Randy, Kaylin, Creason. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry I couldn't. I was having a hard time. I have a hard time reading cursive because people still do write in cursive, everybody. My cursive is a mixture of cursive and just plain old writing. And so when I see real cursive, I'm like, it takes me back. You're so sweet. I'm excited to see my chain. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Don't make me cry. I have been emotional tonight. I'll tell you why in a minute. Oh. That is so cute. any Kleenex in here? <laughs> I think I do. Hold on. I have a whole slew of silly pocket Kleenex from Dollar Tree in here. I love that chain, Jan. Thank you. It is so cute. I have to put my glasses back on so I can take a look-see at it. That is so precious. So this is Momo. My Momo. Momo, Momo, Momo. I have a habit of doing that to her now. I'm like, Momo, Momo, Momo. And then she spelled out Tracy B. That is so cute. And then the black beads represent Lola Bella. You did a great job, Jan. Look at you. And she even did like these little loop-de-loops on the bottoms. Wow. You're fancy Nancy. That's cute. I love it. I love it. And then look. Wait a minute. Do I? Maybe. I don't know. Hold on. Well. It's a little, it's a little upside down, but that's okay because sometimes life can be upside down, but maybe when you put it up like this, there she is. She's upright. So you done good, Jan. You done good. So cute. I love it. Thank you, Jan. I just, I can't wait to use it now with my mask. I'm all, oh, that was so sweet. Thank you. 
And thank you, Jeannie, for your sweet card. I love it. Oh my gosh. The reason why I'm so emotional tonight was because I was watching a Christmas movie called Angel in the Family. Excuse me. And it was on Up TV. And Up is like a family, uplifting family type movie show channel. And it had Meredith Baxter in it. And I mean, it's from 2004. It's an older one. And it was about these two daughters and their dad and the mom, Meredith, had died years before. And the one daughter has a place in California and the other daughter is in, or the one daughter has a job somewhere, probably back east. She's making lots of money. The other daughter, daughter is taking care of the dad in California. He, they're living in an apartment together. And the dad really, he ended up having a little stroke and then he wants to go back to the home where they all raised the family together and, you know, the childhood home. And so they went back and it was all Christmas time and snowy where they went because in California it wasn't snowy. And then Meredith Baxter appears at the house one morning and she's there for Christmas and all the girls were just hugging on her and I was looking at a picture of my mom and my dad on my dresser and I was just thinking gosh wouldn't that be sweet if one morning I woke up and walked out into the kitchen and there was my mom making me some pancakes or something for Christmas so that's why I got so emotional because I just would love to have that. I would love to have my mom or my dad come visit for Christmas. But, so, yeah, that's why I'm all emotional. <laughs> but, yeah, I didn't eat dinner. Well, I did eat dinner. Um, I was trying to upload my empties video. It took an hour and a half because the internet is really slow tonight. Um, so I did eat dinner, but my phone was uploading a video so I couldn't show it to you, but Daryl wasn't hungry. He had chuck rama for lunch, which is a big buffet. So I had fried eggs and wasa crackers again. I'm addicted. That's three nights in a row I've had that. I'm addicted. I love runny yolk. So yeah, um, tomorrow, it's Saturday, I don't know what I'm doing, I might be shoveling snow, I don't know. I don't know if we're going out to dinner with our friends, I don't know nothing. Anyway, I just love you guys so much, you have been leaving me such sweet messages lately and it just makes me so happy to read them all and I just love you. And you're the best customers a girl could ever ask for. And on that note, I've got to go to bed. <laughs> it's all kicking in now so thanks you guys for my wonderful presents and cards I love them and I just love all y'all and I hope you have a wonderful sleepy and we'll see you next time good night everybody you get to look at a sexy lady at the same time